Hey guys, um, massive day in the workshop today, um, and really, really tired. But I had to shoot this quick video to celebrate this milestone. Um, I finished my first folder. I, I, I really can't stop smiling. This is um, just totally blown away. To say that, I, that I'm happy would be saying nothing at all. I'm looking at it and I, I can't believe that I made it. Um, so let me just share this with you. I'm not sure how much or how little you can make out, so I'm, I might just twirl it around a little bit. So, um, the knife, uh, it's a liner lock as you can see, uh, black G10 handles um, anodized and, black and stonewashed uh, clip lock side liner and uh, non-locking liner, uh, black G10 backspacer, um, RWL34 steel. Uh, the flats have been left raw heat treat after heat treat and um, bevels are hollow grounds set and finish to 800 grit as are the swerges as well um, so it's around uh, 21 centimeters overall which is uh, 8.3 inches and 9 centimeters cutting edge which is three and a half inches so it's a uh, you know it's a well sized knife it's quite capable of um, anything you might want to throw at it. Um, I, I'm, I'm just um, speechless, really. Um, so it's based on my um, mute uh, fixed blade, so I suppose this will be called mute folder. Um, the action is uh, as good as I could really wish for. Um, centering is uh, just dead center there's absolutely nothing that could be improved in terms of centering in terms of action um, I think I just got lucky in terms of centering I really when I saw that it was dead center I, I think I almost cried um, with happiness obviously um, the only thing that uh, this knife might require is a little bit of uh, tweaking to be able to alleviate some of the stickiness that I'm currently experiencing with the lock, uh, but uh, I'm sure I'll be able to sort it out um, with ease. Um, what do I say? Uh, I need to say a couple of things. Uh, so first up, Dev Winch. Um, Dave, thank you, man. Dave has opened up his uh, workshop to me and uh, explained ins and outs of folders uh, and without him this really would not be possible. Um, also Eric Oakes, Eric, thank you so much for your time. Um, I've spent a few days in Eric's workshop in uh, Portland last year and um, really just um, an incredible experience and um, really appreciate it man. Um, and lastly, Serge Pinchenko. Serge welcomed him, welcomed me into his home, and um, showed me some of his tricks. Um, and um, I'm really grateful for that. Um, I suppose uh, just a quick preview of uh, next knife. So I'm working on the frame lock mute. Um, so this, um, the blade is currently getting heat treated. Uh, the frame is uh, t fully finished. Um, anodized textured uh, TI frame with uh, uh, heat colored hardware um, it will have uh, green canvas Mikata non-lock side and um, orange G10 backspacer so I'm really excited about that project and hopefully I'll be able to finish that in the next few weeks um, guys I don't think I have a lot more to say time to hit the bed I'm just Dead tired, but I'm just wanted to share this special occasion with you. Uh, it's a it's a major milestone for me, um, and I'm very very happy the way it has turned out. 
so thank you for watching um, and I'm hoping to be able to make uh, more of these. Thank you.